Right, I'm just gonna get straight down to the point. I'm gonna be buying the packs in this game. I already bought the last pack, so we just have these three to buy. I'm gonna buy them, store them, and do a little bit of farming. Well, maybe not farming, but we're gonna store these. Let's buy them all right now. There's pack number one. Gonna be pack number two. And here's pack number three. And like I said, we already own this one. And then people also wanted me to buy this thing, which I guess I will. Does that make sense? Hello, game? Alright, I guess we gotta go down to the vehicle store. But we have lots of things to pack away. So we'll go down here now. This is the truck that we that's in the very last pack. And it's got like a level 3 trailer. Vehicle store is this way. Yeah, we just spent all that Robux on these. I'm not sure if I'm going to use most of them. Like the first two packs, but I'm definitely going to be using the last pack that we put, like purchased. Because it is a good pack. But we're going to buy the Harvester. That's 400 Robux. Right now. God, they need to add a sprint button. Premium vehicles. We're gonna buy this. And I guess we'll buy the tractor too. Screw it. So, we have quite a few new things. So we're going to respawn these. Then... Shoot, I deleted my truck. Um, Alright, I'll just cut back to when I'm at my farm. Oh, Alright, so as you can see, we are back at the farm. All of our stuff is here that we just purchased. And we're going to figure out where we're going to store all this stuff. I mean, the milk truck is going to immediately go into my cow pen. We're going to use the trailer right there as another semi truck. And I think this is a pretty cool truck. I'm not even going to lie. I think it's pretty slow, but it it's cool because it's like old fashioned kind of. And then most of these might just be used for like show. But these two tractor and the harvester well, I'm gonna be using these because I actually have a pallet of potatoes that I bought I already farmed a field though so I have like a few boxes left but yeah we're gonna use those to harvest and plow and plant it but this truck also came with a chainsaw so that's pretty cool and the trailer I think we're mostly just gonna like put the stuff in rows in here so all of the pack stuff is going to go in the same row for one pack and then the next pack is going to go in the same row I don't have anywhere for those trailers unless I move them over there which I probably will but I'll do that off camera but yeah, anyways, I'm just going to speed up this process just to make it a little bit easier for you guys to see me storing my stuff. But yeah, I'm going to mute up and do it. So I'll see you.
Alrighty, that is storing all of them, but do I try and buy the semi-truck pack again? I don't, I don't think I will, because I think it might not give it to me. But yeah, this is our garage now. Everything, like all my garages are full now. There's obviously a little bit of space back there, but... Not too worried about that, but now we have every pack. All of its items are in this garage. Minus the semi-truck pack, because that's all of it's being used. But, uh, yeah. We're probably going to use the new tractor to plow, uh, cultivate, and seed the new... Or, the, not the new field, but the field. Just to see how good it does, if it's fast or anything. I think we still got potato seeds, so we should be good. But, yeah, let's go plow, cultivate, and plant. Right, time for the question that you guys probably have been waiting for. Is this stuff worth buying? I'm gonna be real and I'm gonna say no. The only one that's worth buying is probably the old stuff. Like the old school thing, whatever it is, 1950s truck pack. Because you get a normal truck, a milk trailer, well not trailer, but truck, a crop truck and a log truck so you can pretty much farm everything up until uh, like later in the game so in in my eyes it's worth buying 
but I do not recommend buying the uh, premium tractor unless you want it for like collection purposes I do not recommend buying it it is very slow and it's kind of just like a pain but I just joined the farmers club and I'm gonna boost the sell prices and we're gonna sell a bunch of potatoes at once we just gotta finish harvesting this field dump it into a semi and then bring them all down well, we have a sell place right there so we can just go right there I didn't have enough seeds to fully cover my field because it's like 800 and I only had 600 left I didn't even have 600, I had to go buy another box. So that's why I'm completely out of money. But I'm hoping this will get us 4 or 5 million maybe. Because we paid 3 million for the pallet of potatoes. So we need to make that back. I'm hoping I didn't spend too much and we can't buy any more, but I think we're good. And I'm honestly kind of sad that this harvester doesn't have a bigger capacity. Like, it's huge. It's like double the size of the best harvester you can buy. And yet it's still just 600 space. Which is kind of a ripoff. And I'm gonna be real, so is like the trailer for the semi-truck that you buy. Like the Robux one. Because it is, like, huge. Like, it might not look like it, but it only holds a hundred more. But we're actually going to drive that one to put the uh, potatoes in. See, 900, and then the other one holds 800. So most of the Robux stuff in this game is not worth buying. Unless, like you're new and you want to get a head start but like I said the only one that I recommend buying is the 1950s truck pack because you pretty much get like everything you need for the first part of the game so it's incredibly useful and it's only like it's not even a thousand robux that's a lot but like for how much you get out of it, it's not. But let's go sell this stuff. We do have the Farmer's Club up. We're going to boost the prices. We have uh, this trailer and then another trailer full of potatoes to sell. We're going to buy this. Now they're at the max price. Two point one million. That's a W. And then let's go back and get the other trailer and pray to God that it sells for like triple the price. Cause we need that money. I know we'll be able to buy another pallet of potatoes, but it'll be kinda like cutting it close. this trailer see it's full 800 and this trailer looks so much smaller than the other one yet it, on, it only holds 100 less so that other one should be able to hold like minimum 1.2k $2.8 million I'll, I mean I'll take it if we're able to somehow get another million, we'll be able to buy two pallets of potatoes. But I don't think we're going to be able to get another million. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Spent a decent bit of Robux. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.